Alright guys, so check this out. I am in Bali, Indonesia. Yes, it is open. So I flew here yesterday on the very first international flight with Singapore Airlines and I'm staying here in my very own private villa at the Viceroy in Ubud. So there's four things I want to cover in this video. The first is going to be a quick villa tour of what this place looks like to give you an idea of your accommodation. The second is the quarantine experience. What are you going to be experiencing when you arrive? What are the things that are going to be offered to you? Because it's drastically different than Jakarta. And leading into that, how does it compare to Jakarta experience versus staying here in Bali? So I can actually leave the villa. It's something you couldn't do in Jakarta. And the fourth, of course, is going to be the cost. How much is quarantine going to cost you if you come to Bali? So here's the front door of the villa. Let me take you guys inside and show you what it looks like. Now before we head in, we have some umbrellas right outside the door. Uh, this is the Pedulingi app. So you scan in as soon as you enter. Right here is all of your dirty dishes. So all your dirty dishes go in here. And then staff is going to come by and pick it up because they're not actually allowed to enter your room. This is your laundry basket. So you get unlimited laundry and they take it every morning if you uh, put anything in there. So, got this key card for the Viceroy Bali. Okay, now that I'm entering the villa, I can take my mask off. <laughs> All right, now quick, disclaim quick disclaimer guys. Uh, I have moved things around, I have messed up all the pillows, I have messed up all the sheets, so please don't put in the comments, oh it looks dirty, oh it looks messed up, why didn't they do this, why didn't I do that. I've, I've messed this place up already, so I'm gonna put b-roll of what this place actually looked like uh, before I messed everything up. Right behind me in the very front is the living room area. I've got a huge work desk in the front, huge flat screen TV that I can actually hook up an HDMI cable and use it as a monitor. I can make this a smart TV if I want to watch Netflix on here and everything. They've also got a amazing coffee maker. Uh, this, this thing looks super fancy and makes really good coffee. I already tried it. They provided me some waters, a huge ice bucket that has been filled with ice uh, as soon as I got here. And uh, the fridge, let me tell you, the fridge is stocked. Um, of course you pay extra for like beers and, and cokes and stuff and liquor. So just one thing to note, the selection of coffee and tea that they provide you is, is amazing. Um, one thing I noticed right off the bat as well is that they have a huge Bowers and Wilkins speaker that I've tried out. It's The bass is incredible on this thing. So big plus for this thing. Now, definitely can't forget this amazing work desk. It literally runs the entire length of this wall. They've got all the plugs in here, your VGA cable, your HDMI cable, USB, and international plugs in there. So big thumbs up. This is where I'll be doing all of my editing. All right, next we got guys is this huge sofa. It is really comfortable. I'm probably gonna be eating and watching the TV right up there. Uh, really comfortable, gonna be using this a lot. Next, we have the walk-in closet. Got a full-size mirror in here, got lots of hangers, lots of drawer space. Even got ourselves a robe here, which I've already used. <laughs> and of course, sandals down below. This is how, how big the bathroom is. It echoes in here. Huge bathtub at the center. I don't typically take baths, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So I got this instead, a huge walk-in shower. And I've got not one sink, but I've got two sinks on each side. This villa is actually meant for two people, guys. So when you book it, the price that you book for is for two people. And on the other side here, we've got the toilet. Okay, this says something about the craftsmanship and the level of detail that goes into a luxury five-star resort, guys. Look at this amenity kit that they provide. It's even got everything engraved with the hotel name, even the boxes itself that it comes with. You've even got insect repellent because you're an Ubu and the mosquitoes bite here. Now, this is probably the comfiest bed. As you can see, I've already messed up the pillows, but this is super comfy. It's a king size bed. You've got nightstands on each side with plugs so you can charge your phone overnight. And they've been really thoughtful to include a master switch here. So at night you can just turn off all the lights with that one right there. But now let's probably take you at what is probably the best part about staying in Ubud, staying in Bali, and a quarantine villa here which is the private pool. You can't use the main pool upstairs. That's reserved for the main guests, but each of these villas comes with their own private pool and 
there's honestly nothing else you need. This is actually a cold pool, uh, so it's, when it's really hot, it's really refreshing, but they can actually come out here and heat the pool. It takes roughly about three to four hours, they said, so if I ever want the pool heated at night, I can just call them up and have them do it for me. We've also got some sun beds out here, guys, so you can come suntan during the day when it's sunny. It's actually been sunny here, surprisingly, during the rainy season. Additionally, we've got a gazebo here. Come have dinner maybe at night, have some lunch brought out to you. What's really cool is that this whole entire hotel is situated like on a huge cliff and down below you can actually hear the river uh, rushing by. So it's really serene because you can leave the doors open and just hear the river down below at night that'll put you to sleep. Got my mask on now. As I mentioned to you guys, you can actually leave the villa because this is a bubble quarantine, which is why I have one of these. Bubble safe hotels here in Bali, there's only five of them, one of which is in Ubud. This is the only one here. If you guys wanna come stay here, you can leave your room. You can go up to dinner and lunch at the restaurant. They have that. And you can hike up many hills. <laughs> this is exhausting. They do have a buggy service, but I choose to walk because get the exercise and not stay in your room all day, you know? They also have a gym service. They can bring weights out to your room or you can go to the physical gym, which is what I'm gonna do. They even have a greenhouse. Now, I don't know what that entails, but let's go check it out. So right behind me is the restaurant. You can come up here for lunch and dinner. Breakfast is actually served in your villa. Let me take you guys down to the gym now. So they have the full on gym here. They have pretty much every equipment you really need. Got bench press here, got a bike, treadmill, dumbbells, leg presses. I'll probably end up using that tomorrow. Oh, what's in here? That looks pretty cool. It's like a little meeting room, little library. Let's take you guys up to this little courtyard area where they do all the activities. All right, so this is like a huge courtyard area. In the morning, they have activities here, so tomorrow I have scheduled a yoga session right there. I'm honestly not too sure how well I will do, but I'll do my best to try it out, and I'm sure it'll be a good stretching session for me because I haven't done it in quite a long time. But yeah, guys, I mean, how beautiful is this? Just being able to walk out here during quarantine, enjoy the sun, enjoy the beauty here in Ubud, super peaceful, very quiet area. It's not like you're in uh, Chenggu or anywhere and they've even got a greenhouse right across from me. So this right here is the greenhouse. They've told me that I can come here, or quarantine guests are allowed to come here at least. They've got their own turmeric here. Says some hot chilies. Looks like uh, an eggplant. They're definitely growing their own vegetables. It'd be really cool if quarantine guests can come out here and do some gardening. For those of you that do love and enjoy gardening, this would be a great place for you. And right behind here is the greenhouse. Now guys, one thing I did forget to mention is that uh, when, literally as soon as I arrived at the hotel, maybe like two hours after my flight, uh, I got my PCR test results. It was that quick. I couldn't believe it, honestly. While you're here in quarantine, they do a health check for you, which includes uh, a blood oxygen level test. They do a blood pressure test. They take your temperature and they also do a PCR test uh, the day before you're supposed to check out. So let's quickly talk about the food because food is a big important part of quarantine of course like what are you eating so for quarantine food here at the viceroy in ubud bali they give you three courses you got breakfast lunch and dinner uh, breakfast you can eat at your villa have it brought out lunch and dinner you can actually eat the restaurant which is right behind me here or you can have it brought out to your villa whichever one you choose now the menu is pretty extensive i already checked it out they have everything basically from Western options, vegetarian, and even Indonesian flavors. And you get a starter, you get a main course, and you get dessert. You, there's no way you're gonna be able to finish it during your entire quarantine period. So lots of selection, lots of options for you. So if you guys look, there's actually a sign here that says quarantine rooms. So I think half of this uh, hotel complex is split up into regular guests and quarantine rooms. So look, this area right here is for quarantine guests.
All right, guys. Now, how does this compare to quarantine in Jakarta? So back in November, I actually completed a five-day quarantine in Jakarta, and Katanya, she actually completed like a month ago a seven, no, ten-day quarantine. Can you imagine being in a hotel room for ten days? That's just insane. And in Jakarta, you can't actually open the windows. You can't go outside. You have to basically stay in your room for the entire full quarantine. Here in Bali, you can leave. You can you have your own private pool. You have a beautiful view of Ubud. You got activities to go outside. You got the gym you can go use. It's a completely different experience. You can even go dine in the restaurant uh, instead of having all the food brought out to you. So big, big difference. The second thing is arriving at the airport. So at the Bali airport, the process was much more efficient, way quicker. Even though we did encounter that we had a shared uh, transfer to the hotel in Jakarta, we actually had a private transfer. So I'm not sure if that's gonna eventually change because I think it's advertised as a private transfer, but overall, aside from that, very quick, very efficient process. At the first counter, you just get your documents checked. After that, you do your PCR really quick, and then you go through customs and get your passport checked and your visa checked. So very quick, very efficient, and then the airport basically just transfers you to the hotel. We even had a, a police escort. How crazy is that? So I'm not sure if that's for everybody, but really cool that we got to experience that. Now, next, guys, is the cost. You're all wondering how much does it cost to quarantine in Bali? Well, that's gonna depend on how many nights you're staying. So I'm not gonna get into to the regulations because they change so often but here on February 20th the regulations are if you have one dose of vaccine you're gonna be required to quarantine for six nights if you have two doses you have to quarantine for four nights which is what I'm doing now it's funny though as I as I checked into here the regulations changed so that if you had three doses that means you got the booster shot you only needed to quarantine for two nights now unfortunately I didn't have the booster but would have been great to be out of quarantine and only two nights but Honestly, I'm not complaining because I have a beautiful place like this. I get to go outside, so it doesn't get any better than this. Now, of course, back to the cost, guys. So this is a deluxe private pool villa. If you're quarantining here for four nights, the cost of it is going to be 10.3 million IDR. And I'll put the conversion down below on the screen, guys. Now, remember, this is a five-star luxury quarantine. This isn't your three-star days in or holiday in a hotel if you're back from America. But this is considered as the luxury brand, and this is only one of five bubble hotels here in Bali, meaning that you can go outside. If you choose anything else, you're gonna be quarantined in your room basically. So make sure you guys choose a bubble hotel because then you'll be able to go outside and enjoy the fresh air. But if you're only quarantining here for two nights, the price is gonna be 11.9 million. And this, by the way, is included for two people. That's the price for two people, not one. Guys, I wanna mention something that's very, very important to you. And that is insurance because this is not a sales pitch. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in there. But yeah, you do need insurance when you come to Bali and the great thing about booking here with the Viceroy in Bali is that it's already provided, it's already in the cost of the actual quarantine. So there is a government fee which is already included in the cost of quarantining when you guys book, which is like roughly about three million. So just remember that it's already included in the cost. Um, but that pays for your PCR test on arrival. That also pays for your private transfer to the hotel, the quarantine hotel. And that also pays for insurance. So in and the chance that you guys do test positive for COVID, there's about 70,000 US dollars of COVID insurance if you test positive here in Bali. So just something to remember because when I quarantined in Jakarta, I don't remember ever receiving insurance and they asked for it at the Jakarta airport. So I'm not sure if that's actually new, but it is provided when you book quarantine here at the Viceroy in Bali. So we've covered everything from the villa tour, the full experience of what it's like to quarantine here, the cost and how it compares to quarantining in Jakarta. Now, one more thing guys, before we end this video, the Viceroy has something really special planned for me at dinner. Hello. Okay guys, so <laughs> I'm a little bit shocked right now. Let me explain something. Uh, Viceroy in Bali has a fine dining restaurant called Aperitif. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, and it's a four course, pretty much lunch or dinner, and I've chosen to do a dinner option. It's an extra fee, around like 750K IDR, I believe, um, where you can re request lunch or dinner. It's a four course meal. So I've decided to go for dinner. They brought the, for, I thought this was the entire dinner. Like all these dishes plus that one was the first course. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> What an incredible...
incredible dinner that was. I can't imagine it getting any better from here. So next time you guys are gonna see me, I'll be checking out of here hopefully with a negative PCR test. See you guys the next day. All right guys, good morning. It is day number four. I'm finally checking out here at the front desk, getting all my bags back into the car. Kentani's picking up and we are heading off to our next destination. So thank you guys so much for watching today's quarantine video. If you guys want to come quarantine at the Viceroy in Ubud, you're gonna have an absolutely incredible time. Uh, by the way, let me show you the helicopter pad. Look at this. There's even a staff member right now painting the lines on the helicopter pad. I was told they actually use it pretty often and they've had guests come here in the helicopter, which is pretty crazy. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the quarantine. If you have any questions about coming here to Bali, quarantining here, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.